What's up everybody, my name is Tim Ruswick, and today we're gonna talk about the good funneled subject of the game industry, more specifically what I think is wrong uh, with the game industry and possibly some some ways that we can fix it. Um, I don't have all the solutions, I don't have all the answers. I definitely uh, am not equipped to solve a problem of this scale, but I can tell you one thing, I am dedicated uh, to finding a better solution for game developers uh, on this problem. So what is the problem we're talking about? What uh, what kind of problem do I have with the game industry? Uh, well, first of all, I should say that there are a ton of problems in the game industry. I mean, we got overworking labor force, we got crunch time, we got um, undervalued, underpaid employees. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff in the game industry, but I think the number one problem, and this is a problem that's not just in the game industry, but it's in entertainment as a whole, it's the problem of discoverability. That's the biggest problem plaguing entertainment today. Um, a couple years ago, you know, not too long in the distant past, you went to the game store, there was a bunch of games on the shelves, and you picked a, you picked a game, and that's what you went home with. You go, you fast forward a little bit, maybe you go on Steam. Whatever Steam has on the front page, the selection's not all that big. You pick one of those, and you go. The problem now is there are so many games. We are in an interconnected uh, web of, of just content for days and days and days and days. And there are billion dollar companies working on these problems every single day. You got Netflix trying to come up with a better algorithm to serve you the movies and TV shows that you watch. Uh, you have Steam trying to come up with a better algorithm to serve you the games that you wanna play. You have Google coming up with an algorithm to serve you the better search results. Discoverability in this day and age is one of the biggest problems that we face. And as the game industry, as someone in the game industry, it is gonna be absolutely critical that we solve this. Now, I will say, coming from a marketing background, I know the importance of marketing and why I love marketing so much, even though I hate it sometimes, it's very powerful because it eliminates that discoverability problem for you. If you can figure out your marketing, it's no longer, you're not worried about discoverability. So it helps you stand out from the crowd. It helps you get sales when other people aren't. That being said, nobody likes the market stuff. I can say nobody. Most people don't like the market stuff, especially the, the game developers that I meet and I talk to. And I don't blame them. It's a long, tedious process that doesn't have anything to do with making games. Uh, and it's it's hard and it's it's frustrating. And it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Uh, but discoverability, if if someone were to invent an algorithm, if someone were to create some sort of thing that could take all of the games and all the content, even just entertainment content in general, music, movies, that kind of stuff, and serve up to people what they like and be somewhat accurate at it, we would be living in an absolutely amazing time. Now, this is one of those complicated problems because I know for a fact Netflix, I, I think Netflix is probably on the cutting edge of this discoverability problem, at least for movies and music. But I also know for a fact that when I when I watch a movie on Netflix, let's say I watch a sci-fi movie, uh, Netflix will say, hey, Tim, we think this other movie you should watch. It's a 97% match for you. And I watch that movie, and it's like some one-star B-movie sci-fi bullshit that I don't enjoy at all, right? Um, there are little nuances to how the things work that I don't think that machines can interpret how humans feel about things yet. Uh, a perfect example is like, I may like sci-fi, but I'm not a huge military sci-fi fan. And there's a lot of military sci-fi content out there. There's books, there's movies. Um, Amazon Prime is a, a Amazon Kindle. I, I read books on Kindle all the time. And there's an algorithm there that when I read a book, it recommends me other books. And I noticed that the books that it recommends me are other sci-fi titles. And there's, there are several books that I've rated five stars on Amazon because they're fantastic that I read through and they're really good sci-fi books. But then the, the books that I get recommended to are these sci-fi military books. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't know why there's so many sci-fi military books. But even though I consistently uh, don't read them, I stop reading them, I start reading them, they're no good, I stop reading them, I, I return them, I do whatever, because they're just, they don't interest me. Amazon still can't seem to tell the difference between a military sci-fi book and a sci-fi book. It seems like it's, it's more um, basic on the level of just 
copying tags and stuff. And we're seeing the rise of algorithms, right? Like you look at Google's uh, discoverability algorithm for search. That's probably one of the most advanced ones out there. Netflix, I would say, is right behind, but we still have these problems of discoverability. We still have this issue where it's like, machines think things are similar, but they're not, or machines don't understand the reasons why uh, we like things. And whoever solves this problem, I think is going to be in a very um, powerful spot. I think the discoverability problem in this day and age is equivalent to the Microsoft or the Apple or the Facebook or the Google of the next 20 years, whoever invents the discoverability company and they can solve that problem for any entertainment industry, not just games, they are going to come out on top with this. And this is, this is one of the biggest problems that I've like dedicated my life to kind of solving ever, ever since a couple years ago with game dev underground, um, game dev underground was founded on the idea that, um, uh, it would help game developers with marketing. And ultimately, we kind of pivoted because my original plan was to, to create a landing page and a social network around uh, games, and that's what I tried to do. But Itch came along and did that better, right? And Itch is still working on their algorithm to serve up games on their front page and stuff like that. So uh, we've kind of pivoted, and I've focused more on the community the last year and a half. But I still see the discoverability issue, one of the biggest issues ever in the game industry. I think it's one of the, the most the hardest, most complex problems to solve, but I also think it's one of the most rewarding problems uh, to to come up with a solution to in our modern day age. And I think this applies to apps and games and music and movies, and it's, it's just, it's so big and so insane, it's hard to comprehend just what an impact this will have. Uh, but I think if you wanna talk immediate impact on indie game developers, imagine being able to publish a game and an algorithm can automatically find all the people that uh, want to play that game and it can serve the game to them and they can buy it automatically with zero marketing, with zero help, with zero effort. I, I don't wanna say zero because nothing's ever zero effort, but you get the idea. Uh, that would be fantastic for a company like Steam, right? Or for a company that has any kind of uh, storefront with, with any kind of entertainment content. If that discoverability problem is really solved, then it's spot on. It doesn't even have to be 100% accurate. It could be 80% accurate or 70% accurate. Uh, it would still change the game because the stuff that we have now, as good as it is, it's it's a hit or miss. Like it either does a good job or it's just completely off and horrible. And uh, I don't know the solution. I, I would imagine it's probably going to have to do with a little bit of machine learning and a little bit of um, stuff that we're not quite understanding yet. It's definitely going to have to do with machines understanding humans on a better level. And like I said, I, I don't I don't know what the solution is, but I know that this is the biggest problem in the game industry and other entertainment industries uh, as a whole. And I, without a doubt, want to contribute to solving this problem. Um, it's going to be the startup of the future, man. It's going to be it like this. I, it's so profound in my head. I can't even describe how much I feel this. I know this is important. And just I see game developers every day struggling, trying to get their stuff out. I see musicians every day trying to get their music out. I see indie filmmakers all the time trying to get their movies out. And it's such a big problem. It's such a profound problem because we have all these creative people but they can't get paid for their work because they don't understand the marketing skills. And the problem with marketing is that it's, it's, it's not always straightforward. It's not always successful. I know personally doing marketing for people, I can never give guarantees on my marketing. I can do the same thing for, for person A as I did for person B. Person A can, can skyrocket their sales with it. Person B doesn't, doesn't work as well. Um, it's an iterative process and you can always get better over time, but it, it's still not a hundred percent a science. It's more of an experimentative type of like, you know, thing where you just, you figure out what works for what brand. Uh, and it's not for everybody, especially not for creators that work hard. It's not for people that like are just want to stick to their computer and, and do their stuff. And I get that. And discoverability is one of those things that I, I really feel like we need to solve um, to, to really, to really, uh, 
make creativity flourish in the world. And I, I think we're almost there. I, I don't know the solution, but I think we're almost there. So I would love to know your opinions on, uh, on all this. Uh, do you think, do you agree with me? Do you think discoverability is the biggest problem in the game industry or do you think there's a different problem? Uh, and w either way, uh, do you have a solution? Do you, do you know what do you think should, should work or how it should work or, or what would happen? Let me know in your comments down below. I would love to know this. This has been something on my mind for years. So I would love to hear from you. Once again, my name is Tim Roswick, and I will see you again tomorrow.